Hello there, my name is Trevor and I'm going to be your tutor. First of all, thank you for signing up to this online course. I'm sure you'll find it helpful and I'll do my best to help you achieve a pass first time on your 18th edition exam. Before we dive straight into the course, we just need to have a few words on things to expect. Things that you need to be aware of and things that you need in order to be successful with this online course. So, as you know, this is an online course for the City and Guilds 2382-15, 18th edition of the Wiring Regulations, BS 7671 Requirements for Electrical Installations. In this course, we will look at the book from cover to cover, and highlight and make note of everything that you need to pass the multiple choice exam that is required to obtain this qualification. When I first looked at the wiring regulation book some years ago, I can tell you I was terrified. It was a terrible read, seemingly disorganised all over the place and just mountains and mountains of information. I was thinking, how on earth am I supposed to learn all this? Then... I went on a course where it was explained that you don't need to learn it as such, you just need to be able to use the book in a fast and efficient way to find the answers required. Well, since then a lot of things have changed. I'm much older and the regulations have become a lot bigger. However, one thing that did not change much is the format of the exam and the fact that you still don't have to learn the book outright. You just need to know how to use it. Since passing this and other more advanced exams, I became an electrical tutor and my approach is essentially the same as that taught to me many years ago. Why? Because it works. I can honestly say that you can sit here in the comfort of your own home or wherever you are, or you can sit in a classroom and you'll be going through the same process, which is going through the book and highlighting everything that is important from the point of view of the exam. OK, you'll miss out on the banter and laughs, but is that what you really want? Or do you just want to get this done as quickly and easily as possible? So in order for this course to work, you'll need the Wiring Regulations book open in front of you. You'll also need a couple of highlighters, say yellow or green, and a pencil for making notes in the book. What we will do is that we will go through a section of the book, part one to start with, and we will highlight everything that is needed for the exam. The way we do this is that I'll read out every title and every regulation that is important and you should highlight it or underline it or mark it in some other way that works for you. You should do this as I read regulation after regulation. Sometimes I will read a full regulation, sometimes just part of it, and sometimes I will only read out headings for sections. Highlight them all as I read them out, because this way, when you are searching for a particular answer to a question, you won't have to read the page from top to bottom. Your attention would quickly jump to the highlighted headings or regulations where the answer is likely to be found. This way, you can save huge amounts of time looking for the answer. Over time, as you keep practising, with the dedicated exam simulator provided with this course, you will gain a feel for scanning for the answer really fast. You will learn how the book is laid out, what sort of information is found in each section, how to find tables really fast, and you will remember the locations of some of the most important tables, such as ZS values or disconnection times. After we have covered each part of the book, say part one, on the next page of the course you'll be presented with revision questions hand-picked to make you familiar with that part. These questions are almost identical to the real exam questions and answering them on your own will teach you how to use the book efficiently. If you get stuck with answering some of these questions, we have prepared helpful hints for each of the questions. These hints won't provide you with the specific answers, but instead send you in the right direction for finding these answers. This is because, at this stage of the course, the point is to learn how to get to a specific answer. 
Once we've gone through the book from cover to cover, including the appendices, you'll be ready to look at our tips and tricks for the exam. Also included in that section are some really useful handouts for you to download and print. At this stage, you'll be ready to practice under simulated exam conditions. This means using the dedicated exam simulator, which works in a similar way as to the one for the real exam. You will be presented with 60 multiple choice questions that you'll need to find the answers for within the allowed time, which is two hours. I can honestly say, if you know how to use the book, that time is more than enough. And at this stage, you will know how to use the book. At this point, all you need to do is to keep on practising until you get a pass every single time and carry on practising a little bit every day until you sit the real exam. People often ask, how long will this course take and how long before I can sit my exam? The answer to this is that it entirely depends on you. You can study at whatever pace is comfortable for you. Some people are prepared for the exam within a month. Some take longer. My advice to you is to go ahead and inquire about the next available exam date available in your area. This will usually be months away. Book it, and this way you have a target to work towards. This seems to work for many people. However, for some people this might be too much pressure, which is not helpful when you have a busy life to lead as well. So again, it depends on you. Right, just a few more words. If you have any problems or any trouble whatsoever with this course, feel free to contact me or one of the other tutors on tutorsupport at learnzonemedia.co.uk. We will do our best to resolve your problem. Also, if you're unhappy with this product, you can request a refund any time within the first 30 days of your purchase, but I'm sure it won't come to that. For those of you on the premium plan, you can contact me on the same email address about any questions regarding this qualification. We are here to help you. If you'd like a telephone chat, drop me an email and we will arrange a suitable time. So, if you're ready, which means you have your book open in front of you, a couple of highlighters and a pencil, let's dive in and get this done.